guys it's green and um, today um, as you're watching this video I'm actually in Cuba so I'm not at home at the moment so I haven't been streaming and that's why I haven't really been posting a whole lot uh, to Twitter social media all that stuff but I decided that this is a perfect opportunity for me to make some videos uh, that a lot of people have <laughs> really been asking me for um, so this is gonna be the return of my uh, series where I kind of teach you guys how to edit a little bit give you some tips and just kind of like teach you how to edit like I do uh, this first video is just going to be on like syncing your clips and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we have a song, we have a clip, and we have some sound effects, and we're just I'm basically just going to show you guys like what I like to do typically uh, when I'm syncing stuff. So yeah, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do have your song here, uh, drag it into After Effects, whatever. Then you're going to go down to the composition thing and drag it in. Just click on top of that or drag it over top of that, and then you'll see it'll make a composition and it'll come down here. Uh, basically, you're just going to title this the name of the song. What I'm gonna do. You can title it whatever you want. You can title it the name of your mini Taj or your edit or whatever you're doing. Um, and then what you're gonna do is click here and double tap the L key. What that's gonna do is gonna bring up the waveform of the music. You're gonna zoom in, um, adjust the uh, area you're looking at to towards the beginning of the song. And I'll just give you guys a little preview of what it sounds like. Alright, so um, it, it kind of comes up to the drop and then I'll play a little after the drop too. So yeah, basically that's what it sounds like. Um, as you can tell, there's a bit of a, it's, it's basically just like a beat. So um, what we're going to want to do is, uh, there's if, if your keyboard has a numpad, you can, you can press the little, uh, what's it called, the, the little star key. Or you can also press, I'm pretty sure you can press shift 8 and it'll, yeah, it'll pop up right there as a little uh, marker. So you're going to delete that, but listen to the song. So that's the first, that's a beat right there. So I'm just going to press the little thing, drop a little marker there and then go along. So there's obviously the drop right there. Um, and basically what we're doing is we're dropping all these little markers along the top. And that's gonna tell us where the beats of the song are, and it's gonna help us later on when we're syncing up and, and doing all that sort of stuff. So we just have to mark out a little bit of them. I'll speed that up for you real quick, um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so that should be good for now. Um, that's, we're just gonna be doing the one clip here, so it likely won't be that too big, too big of a deal. Um, obviously you're going to want to organize this area a little bit better when you're actually doing an edit. Um, but anyway, here's my clip. So what I'm going to do, what I, I now do to start uh, editing is I double cl click it and it'll bring up a timeline here. And what you can do is you can drag it to where you want the clip to start. So I'm going to have it start a little bit before I get my first kill. And then you can play through, see the clip. There it is. And then right after I die, I'll end it right around there. So, some, somewhere like that. And now when I drag the clip in, it's going to be just that little area instead of having the whole clip and having to cut it up afterwards like I used to do if you watched my older tutorials. Uh, so yeah. Then I'm going to go to the start where I want the clip to start and I'm going to press the left square bracket key and that's going to snap it to right there. Um, I'm also going to press Control alt t hold down Control and alt and then press T and that'll bring up time remap. Um, that's what you're going to want to mute the audio as well for your clip since we're adding gun sounds in. Oh yeah, so that's how you get the uh, little markers to come up. Uh, you you can drag it through and then you can wait to every shot. So go to every shot. You can use page up and page. Oh, shit, I need to do that. Sorry. Um, you can press page up and page down to move one frame at a time. So you can hear just clicking. It's going one frame at a time. You can also press these buttons up here. I think it's this button. Yeah, this will go one frame forward. This will go one frame backwards. But yeah, basically, you know it. Sh uh, you know you shot when this bullet right here in, in Modern Warfare Remastered and IW at least. When that bullet goes away, you can see it just disappeared. So that's the frame it shoots at. You can see right after that, there's a little muzzle flash. But anyway, so we're going to be right there. Um, we're going to press the keyframe button on our time remap. If you ever accidentally close it or something, you can open time remap. Well, sorry. You can open just time remap by double tapping R. So have this selected and then just double tap R. And uh, your time remap will pop up like that. 
Then we're gonna also come over here, just find our other shots. Where does it, where does it leave the chamber? Right there. Let's get the head to right. There. Uh, precision is really important if you want your sink to look nice. Um, I understand that it's kind of tedious and it's going to be really hard. Holy shit, I just realized that I'm flashed here, so. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can't see shit. Okay. Um, one way you can do this is see how many shots after this the red hit marker pops up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 until the red hit marker comes up. So what we can do is work backwards, find the red hit marker. I'm gonna go backwards nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's what we're gonna have to do. Because I didn't realize how flashed I was, Jesus. Okay, and then I come back over here to the same thing on this shot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can see that's spaced out pretty evenly. It makes sense. It, it can't be that weird. Anyway, and then we're gonna go to the end where we want the clip to end. I think I'm gonna have it right before I die. So I can, so it doesn't you don't know that I die in the video. So there we go. That's gonna be the end, the ending keyframe at least. Um, now, I'm, what, what you wanna do is you wanna take your keyframes and have them line up right with the first beat of the song. So, so that's where the drop is, that's where I want my thing. But I'm just gonna move the whole thing so I don't mess up any of the beginning or the end. If you move just the keyframes, you're gonna be stretching out this area here, so this will be slower, which might not be a bad thing. Um, but at the same time, you wanna make sure that it's all even at the end especially, because then I could throw off your foot re like the, the the amount of frames you're losing and stuff. So anyway, now I still want the video to start here, so I'm going to drag it back. And then, yeah, so now I'm here, we have our gunshots. Before we line them up, you want to make sure that you're starting at the right time. So right here, if I, if I start like this, it's going to be at a running speed. What I can do is I can select a point from up here, um, have a new keyframe come out, sorry a new keyframe come out and then I can drag the keyframe back to here so what that'll do is it'll take the time from this to this and it'll stretch it this amount of time so basically it'll just be at almost half speed so you can see it's running kind of slowly when I'm going in full time it comes up to the shot and then shoots so now what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna take these keyframes these remaining keyframes and line them up now you can see it's it doesn't it, it, I have to stretch it a little bit which means the shots are gonna be slower but that, that's always Always a, a potential struggle, but you, you can see that um, the way I'm going to be doing it, um, it's not going to be that big of an issue. So also what you want to do when you're working on a specific clip and you just want that whole clip to preview is you can press B right before the clip, B key, and then the N key right towards the end of the clip. And that way it'll show, um, move it back a little bit, that way it'll, it'll just show that area when you ran preview up here. Um, so yeah. Another thing I'm going to do is drag this, I'm going to have the keyframe end over here, so I'm just going to drag this part of the composition to the end, and yeah, and then I'm going to, I'm going to want it to slow down a little bit afterwards, I don't know if I adjusted that, so maybe that's a little faster, but anyway, um, yeah, I want it to slow down towards the end, so I'll take a, another different part, and I'll just delete this keyframe, and then stretch it out to the end, so it's a little slower back here. So now here's where the actual syncing is going to come into play. I'm going to click on time remap, make sure it's selected like that, and like this. Uh, and then I'm going to click on this button up here. This is called the graph editor. And basically what it's going to do is show my keyframes with um, a little velocity chart. So basically the steeper this is, is the faster, basically. That's how velocity charts work. Um, and what I'm going to do, in uh, instead of just looking at this, um, I'm going to make take all these keyframes select all the keyframes in the middle and then click this button and it's going to easy ease them so then now i can mess up the acceleration a little bit so on this clip i'm just going to want it to just zoom up a little bit before it shoots and then speed up a little bit after it shoots so something like that i'm going to move it down here the same over here the same over here and so on and so forth until they're all kind of lined up point where they all have that little bit of curve in them so it kind of it, it's like a little s right at each dot there's a little s it goes up and then over and up over is that until the end of the composition where i'm could i'm gonna have a little bit of one as well so now you can see if i go back here i close everything up i press the zero key on my number pad or i press this button up here and it will ram preview so it's going to render out this little amount of stuff that i've already done 
and we can just see what it looks like with the music oh, before we add our gun sounds or our pan crop. That would have been a really nice clip if it wasn't flashed, honestly. And you can see that sync looked really good, so there's not much I want to change. But like, say for if there was a little example here, like between this shot and this shot, it was too it was too slow, and I was losing a lot of frames. What I could do is I could take this little S and I can shrink it down so that the bump isn't... I can zoom in a little bit and you'll be able to see better. So maybe this was up like... this was up like this. And you can see there's a bit a bit more of a curve there and it would, I'd be losing some frames. So I would want to just kind of shrink it down, restart it, um, and just make, maybe make it a little smaller. But I, I really liked what I had to be honest, so I'm just going to leave it with that. Um, so the next thing that I usually do is I would be adding some pan crop. So what you're going to do to do that is press S, that'll bring up the scale. Obviously the regular scale is just at 100%, so I'm going to leave a keyframe frame there. And then I, go, I usually go 4 frames, so 1, 2, 3, 4 frames forward. And then I change this to 108, that's just my go-to. So now I have these two keyframes, and what I want to do is, some people put it at every sync point. I prefer to put it at every, every gunshot, that's when I'll have it, so I'll put it at where all four of my gunshots are. And then obviously at the end, now when I'm done pressing, I'll, I'll, I'll press S again and it'll close it back up and I can render this again and you guys will just be able to see what it looks like again. So you, you can see it doesn't make a huge difference, but it's just that little twitch that kind of makes it look nicer in my opinion. I don't know. Um, it's just me could just be me but anyway uh yeah lots of people like to add pan crop i just like a basic pan crop i don't really use it too much or anything like that and uh, on on top of that this, this is just like a, a, a basic syncing and pan crop tutorial i don't want to get you guys too confused with too much advanced stuff anyway so the next thing we're going to do is add some gun sounds so here i have the remastered gun sounds that i use and then i have this little boosh i'm, I'm not going to use the boosh today um actually maybe, fuck it I, I, I will anyway so now we're gonna want to take these clips and uh, line up all the, the gunshots with all the different shots. I don't have anything here, but I have one here. Oh. And what you're gonna do is basically you, you put. Oh, I'll redo that because I didn't really explain what I was doing. So I have the one gunshot. I drag it in. I line it up. I go to the spot and I press the left square bracket key, and it'll move the gunshot to that that exact spot. Now I'm gonna go to my next spot. I'm going to press Control D, and that'll duplicate the layer right there. You can see I made another one. Then you're going to press the left square bracket, it's going to move it over. And that just, it saves you a lot of time. If you go left from right, it'll, it'll line up better, and it, I prefer this workflow when I'm, when I'm editing. But it, it's up to you, it, it all depends matters, or it all depends on what you, what you like. So now I'm going to drag in this, this whoosh, and basically what I do for my whoosh is, is I go to, I open up, and like they're all pre-composed, so I, let me just, let me just get rid of that real quick. Okay, so I open it up. It's all pre-composed. I press LL, like I said earlier. This brings up the waveform of the audio. And I, I go to like the peak of it, so something like that. And I put a keyframe. And now when I drag the whoosh into my other composition, that keyframe will stay there. So I can line up the keyframe with the peak of the whoosh. And you can see it'll it'll line up pretty good with the gun sounds. I'll just preview the audio real... Let me fucking... There. I'll preview the audio real quick so you can hear what it sounds like. And you can see that's a little, it's a little louder than, ooh, Jesus Christ, that voice crack. <laughs> it's a little louder than I would have liked. So um, I'm going to lower it to minus five decibels. And then over here um, on the gunshot, I can, I think I'm going to lower that a bit too. So open up my pre-composition, pre press L and it'll bring up the audio. Then you just, I'm going to make this minus three. All right. And then I'm also going to lower these gun sounds, uh, or I'm also going to add a whoosh to the last shot as well, just because I kind of liked how it sounded, but, um, yeah. So now I have the two whooshes, and if I want my whooshes to have different sounds, like I want this one to be a little quieter, I can press L on my main composition and have it go minus two over here. So they're already a little quieter that I added from here, but now I can make this one quieter than this one specifically in my composition. So now what I'm going to do is move my gun sounds down. I usually put them below all my clips. Just, I don't know, gun sounds aren't terribly important and can be easily replaced. 
so I, I, I tend to prioritize that on what I'm using the most at the time. So my gun sounds go to the bottom and my clips are up towards the top. Uh, anyway, so yeah, now I'm going to preview this again, you guys will be able to hear it with sound, and then there's one more thing I want to do and it will be good. So yeah, that sounded pretty good. Um, I liked how it looked. It was really clean. That's basically like um, most people that know my editing style. They know that I'm known for editing just kind of clean. Sorry about my dog. We should shut up. But uh, yeah, I'm known for being kind of a clean editor and uh, showing off the clips as much as I can while still having a decent edit. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so now what I the last thing I want to do is I'm gonna have it so it fades in. So I'm gonna press T, which is the opacity. I'm gonna put it at a hundred right when the first shot comes, and then. One frame before that, I'm going to lower it a lot, so it's kind of like a flash almost, so let, let's say 55. And we're going to go back to the start and lower it even more. So what that's going to do is it's going to start it at this dark thing, it's going to slowly light up, and then right before the drop, it's just going to flash forward. Like, you can see the little, kind of like a flash. Um, so basically, we're just going to preview that, see what it looks like, and that'll be the end of the tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, uh, it's what I it's what I haven't done in a while. I, I did a tutorial much, much like this a long time ago, um, but I kind of want to update it because there's a few new things that I, a few new methods that I introduced, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm still doing the same sort of stuff that I've been doing for a long time. I'm just a little bit better at it. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want more tutorials specifically on like effects or something, leave a comment below on what effect you want. And if this video can hit 300 likes, that is a lot for my channel. Um, but if this video does hit 300 likes by the time I'm back from Cuba, so uh, the Thursday after, um, the Thursday, what is that, Thursday the 20th, 30th? No, it's February, so like the, the, the 2nd, I think, of March, something like that. Uh, whatever Thursday is around that time, um, then I'll definitely make more of these tutorials for you guys in the future. I'll, I'll probably make them either way, but 300 likes is a really crazy goal that I would love to hit. Um, how long is this video? It was like... Jesus Christ, it's been like 17 minutes. Um, that's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, I just want to really get in depth with you guys and make sure you understand what I'm thinking. Obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them below and I will uh, help you out with that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and here is the clip. A little snippet of the clip that I just edited.